What's up, guys? <laughs> Miranda here, and as you can tell, my lovely sister <laughs> is back again. She's on her spring break. She's here visiting her and my mom. So, as promised, I'm sure if you guys watched my Marshalls and TJ Maxx haul, you guys would know. I hauled a crap load of food, and we're going to try it out for you guys and see. So, want to pick something? This one. We want that one. She's going straight for the chocolate, you guys. So, we are going to try the Anastasia Taste of Paradise Coconut Patties in the Pina Colada. Because I was not all expecting them to look like this, but they come individually wrapped. It looked like that. I just thought it would have been like covered in chocolate completely. So, I smell coconut. Yeah. Put the lime in the coconut. Tastes like coconut to me. I don't really get like a pineapple flavor very much. No, it doesn't smell like pineapple at all. No, it just smells like regular coconut. Yeah, it's good though. Yeah, it's good. All right, pick something. No, I went first. Fine. Yeah. No. We're just randomly reaching into the bag, so I don't know what I'm reaching for. All right, so more chocolate. Yeah, more chocolate. <laughs> These are the David's cookies. A bite above the rest, chocolate Florentine lace cookies. That sounds way too fancy. I know, it does sound fancy, fancy. I'm so fancy, I'm so fancy. <laughs> Alright, open this. Oh, it's like, wasn't this? Oh. <laughs> Psych. They look gross. They look funky. Oh, my right, cookie cute. is this? Is it? I don't think so. Oh, never mind. What's funky? What kind of cookie is this? It doesn't really have a smell other than... Plain. <laughs> okay. Syrup. I don't know. Syrup? Like corn syrup? I don't know. It's kind of like brown sugar. Oh, weird texture. I do really like this thing. That is weird. It tastes like chocolate. Yeah. This kind of tastes like caramel-ish. Yeah. I think that's what it is. It's kind of The sticky. chocolate is like super like overwhelming though. Mm. Uh-huh. Yeah, all I can say is this is really weird. The chocolate is more of the flavor. Can't so much taste like whatever this is. I don't know. Uh. All right, moving on. More cookies. More cookies. From the festive selections, baked to perfection white chocolate key lime cookies. So where's the box for that? All right, so these cookies look like this. <laughs> you just sniffed it. Yeah, I I sniffed it and like that totally smells like key lime. Whoa, yeah, yeah, that was strong. All right, I guess I, I don't think I showed you the other side. Looks like that. Oh. Mm. It's definitely like a lime flavor that hits you like right when you put it on your tongue. Mm. I feel like the smell is strong, but it's the flavor isn't strong of key lime pie. It just tastes like a bland cookie to me. I taste it. I taste the key lime. But yeah, the scent is there. For me, the taste is there. She says it's not, but I can totally taste it. It almost tastes a tad bit tart to me, but like just a tad bit. They're okay. 
They're okay cookies. All right. Maybe we'll get something. S no. <laughs> <laughs> so we have these butterscotch snaps. They're the Flathaus shortbread cookies with a candy brunch is what it says. So basically they are these like cookies, shortbread cookies covered in which, what the heck is this called? Oh my gosh, candy. Powdered sugar <laughs> um, with like little bits of like butterscotch in it. So. I thought you just got like butterscotch candy. So no. Like, it would taken forever to eat. <laughs> I'm sure everybody knows what a butterscotch candy tastes like. Like butterscotch. Smells like a powdered donut. Great. <laughs> Oh, it's, like there, broken it's broken. Piece. Whatever. I'll take the other part. I don't really like the texture of like powdered sugar. It's weird. I don't know. It just it feels weird. <laughs> it's more like dough. Oh. That was like melt in your mouth. It's really soft. I thought it was gonna be harder. I don't taste the butterscotch though. Mm -mm. It just tastes like a regular, like, shortbread cookie covered in, in, <laughs> oh my god, it's powdered so sugar, powdered <laughs> sugar, oh my god, why can't I think of it, okay, no, but it literally melts in your mouth, but there's no, like, butterscotch flavor there, so, I don't know. This is good, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's good. It's good, it's good. Moving right along. All right. No. I should grab something savory. I know, I just found all of avocado oil, jalapeno chips, kettle style. Let's do this. Well, you had it? No. Oh. I've never had any of this stuff. Okay. Well, I think you got it. Ooh, non-GMO. Well, yeah, lots of the things that they sell. So lots of the things that they sell at Marshalls and TJ Maxx in the food section, they're like more healthier options, like non-GMO. I know there's lots of like gluten-free type items there. So it's good. yeah, one hundred percent made with avocado oil. They smell jalapeno-y. Smells like kettle chips. Smells like kettle chips. That's it. Eh, yeah, kind of smells just like kettle chips. So we'll see. The jalapeno flavor. Yeah. Can feel like the spiciness. Like yeah. <clears throat> right when you put you. it on your tongue. Mm -hmm. What are those hollow Hawaiian chips? They're not Hawaiian. They're the the things like Tim's or something like that. Is that what it's called? The one with like the red and white striped bag, right? No. No, I'm talking about the Hawaiian chips that you got yesterday. Oh, the uh, the like oh, Maui, Maui onion, onion, sweet onion. They're also kettle chips. They taste. But those much. are good. Uh -huh. These are good. I like these. Indeed. Those are good. Okay. I don't really get like an avocado flavor though. Mm -mm. It's overpowered by the jalapeno. <clears throat> All right, so all oh, in here. What is this? Ooh, yay! Okay, so we're gonna make, try these lovely, lovely, lovely honey gummy bears. They're sour cherry, strawberry, and blue raspberry. They're made out of honey. Yeah, they like honey. Give these some it says gelatin free. Oh, that's no good. high fructor freak <laughs> fructose. <laughs> I can't say it. Okay, geez. high fructose corn syrup, gluten free, peanut free, and no artificial ingredients. So that means that they're truly vegetarian. Oh, they smell good. Or gelatin, not gluten. Actually, I don't like the smell. So I'm gonna try this one. I never won this one. It was probably like cherry. Ooh, I kind of like the smell. Okay, I'm gonna I go for the green really. one. Mm. 
Very chewy. Yeah. And that's sour. But then again, I still have the like the jalapeno taste mm. in my mouth, so I don't know. I can't really tell. They're not really sour at all. No. They're pretty sweet. Mm. This is the green one. Technically, like, it's just supposed to be like blue because it should be like blue raspberry. Yeah. They don't taste sour. Mm -hmm. I would say the texture of these is more like the like the little like fruit wedge thingies. Like that kind of like gummy texture, not like your typical gummy bear texture. Yeah. If that makes any sense. I don't know. They're not like super chewy because they're not made with um gelatin in it. That's why they're not like... Chewy. But they're good. I just don't like the smell of them, though. They smell fine. All right. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Who would buy? Only you would buy this. You spent five dollars on this. <laughs> but look what it is, sister. The '60s mix. I've How never you... had candy from the '60s. How do we know it's actually from the 60s? I don't know. Somebody okay. from the 60s, tell us if it's truly from the 60s. Okay, here's what it has in it. Okay, well here, you don't like read everything off of there. But there is a list right here that shows you all these candies that are from the 60s. And I've had a few of them, like Boston Baked Beans. I think I've had like the Bubblegum Cigar. Candy Necklace, who hasn't had a candy necklace? Double Bubble, I've had that. Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher was made in the 60s? And I've had Razzles. So, let's just see something in here that we've never had. You ripped it. Well, how else am I supposed to open it? There's like all this stuff. Here's a candy necklace. There's Razzles, which is gum. What is this thing? I am curious. It's like a paper with thingies on it. Mom. What are these? <laughs> oh yeah, we should ask mom. Mom would know what these are. Ah. It's a weird texture. It smells? it smells sugary. It smells like gum. Oh, it does. It's probably gum. There's like so much in here. Double bubble, had it. I've seen these in the store, but I've never had these. What the heck is what this? What is that? Um, Let me see the packaging. They smell like oh, in yeah. big rolls. Yeah, what is it? Like smell. It's probably gum or something. Gum? Is it gum? I think this is gum um, too. They look like big, like, Sweet Tarts or Smarties or something. They look like Tums. That's what they look like. In acids. Ah, it's hard. Oh, yes. Ooh, this is like black licorice. Ew. Yummy. My favorite. I love black licorice. Is it just that? What is it? Here. Try the pink one. Hmm. Yeah. What? It doesn't really taste like anything. Ew. What? <laughs> what? I think it's supposed to be bubblegum, but it tastes like Pepnobismal. <laughs> it does! It? Okay, let me try one. Let me try one. Ew, it has the aftertaste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it tastes like the little the candy hearts from Valentine's Day. <laughs> I rather have candy hearts. This is nasty. <laughs> Pepnobismal. What does the green one taste like? Is it a purple? Is it a green? A yellow? Okay, now I'm done. That's Pepto Bismol. We are eating Pepto Bismol, sister. Look, it's a candy cigar. I've never had one. Not candy. Well, technically, it's a gum cigar. There's a lot of gum. Yeah, there's a lot of gum. Maybe it's because, like, they hadn't made, like, you know. Oh, look, it's a little mini Boston baked uh, bean. They hadn't made, like, a lot of, like, Jaw Buster. Ooh, black coffee. There's another one. It might taste like black licorice though. Oh, I don't like black licorice. I like black licorice and good and plenty. Mm -mm. Those are like my faves. Oh, well, what the heck? It's not even black. Do you know that black licorice is really popular in Sweden? That's like one of my favorite sweets. Yes. They had a lot of that in our box. You. I don't want to eat anymore. Yep. El bubble. Tastes like black liquid. El bubble. Oh, here. Mm -hmm. 
We got Charles and Chew Vanilla. Ooh, I've never had a Charles and Chew. Is it a gum or is it a totally... What kind of... Wait, Chew flavored nougat with delicious Young chocolate coating. Young Boy's Coconut. I don't know what that is, but I want to eat it too. I want a Jolly Rancher. I'm going to try the Charles and Chew. Me too. I've had that. Let have I. Really? Want to split one? Sure. I don't want to make this video too super long. That way, might not all fit. Hmm. This is like chocolate. Hmm. It reminds you of like a cow tail because that chocolate coating just easily breaks off. And you mix with the chewy stuff. Alright, this thingy is the Long Boys Coconut. It looks like a like caramel tootsie roll or something. It looks like um just chewy. Like a sugar daddy. I don't know if I really ever had a sugar daddy. Well yeah. Alright, Mama Grace, she never liked these things, okay? <laughs> So, no, no, you guys, except I like the black licorice one that was in here. Oh, oh my gosh, you're uh, vi recording something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just get it. But, yeah. Isn't that When dumb? did this come in? It, in the it box just like here. It was, just like it was just like this? Yeah. yeah. Not in any plastic? No. Okay, maybe and then we get one of these. How cool then? No, seriously, I've never seen uh, in the whole time buying candies. I know mine is too. <laughs> Weird. So mom doesn't know what this is, but if you guys know what it is, let us know. We have no idea if it's like a candy or gum or what the heck. So. Look this little box of. All right, next up we are trying these Waylana chips, purple sweet potato with rosemary herb. Never had a sweet potato chip. I don't even like sweet potatoes, but hey, why not give them a try anyways? Me. Oh, you opened it the worst way. Well, I can open it the other way. I've got no scissors. They're purpley. Ooh. <laughs> it looks like. Wait, is it Where's sweet potato little... skin? I don't know if it's like the skin or what it's supposed to be. They're gluten free and all of that other good stuff there. You can't decide about what it smells like. It smells like herbs. That's for sure. Yeah. But I don't know if it's like an actual, like, the inside of the sweet potato or the skin. Salty. It's salty? I licked it. I don't taste salty. It tastes herby. Yeah. There's a little, like, on the sweet side. Mm-hmm. I guess. For the sweet potato. It's very herby. And thin. Yeah, it's super thin. Like, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. It's weird. It's a weird combo, like fruity and herby together. I don't know. It's not bad. It's not terrible. No. It's just okay for me, though. I don't know. So like the butterscotch ones, now we have these ones, and they are like cinnamon snaps. So we're going to give these ones a try, see if these ones actually have a cinnamon taste. All right, same concept, the powdered sugar. No, not really. No. <laughs> We're disappointing. Both of them are disappointing. They are misleading. I don't really taste the cinnamon, and the other ones didn't taste like butterscotch, so I don't know. Next up, my sister does not like chia, but this is the crunchy drizzle bites with rice, chia, quinoa, and flax in the cinnamon swirl flavor, and then it has like white chocolate drizzled on top of it. All right, they smell like cinnamon sugar. Like, they smell good. Ooh, they smell like they're tiny though. They smell like a cereal that I can't remember. Yeah, they smell like cereal. Oh, they look like cereal. <laughs> they do. Wait, They're like it super was tiny. That looks just like a puff thingy, like a, yeah. like a little rice cake or something. I thought it was going to have like big seeds of like chia. Hmm. 
It's like the flavor's there for a second and it goes away. Because well, it's so tiny. <laughs> the thing that's giving it flavor is the drizzle on yeah, it. Yeah, the I drizzle on it. It's like a tad like on the sweet side. But you can taste like the cinnamon sugar and then mm -hmm. the white chocolate gives it like a nice little extra flavor. So these are actually pretty good, you guys. You can't taste the flax or the chia or anything, so yeah. Just Very good. Good. Yeah. My sister wants some spice in her life. So we got the Ready Nutrition Protein Puffs in the Sweet Chipotle. Alright, so we got these little Sweet Chipotle Protein Puffs. They look like this. They're puffs, I thought they are chickpeas. No, these are puffs. The oh, other nice. things are chickpeas. I wouldn't necessarily call it a puff. Yeah. That was a hard puff. <coughs> Very plain. That's a weird aftertaste. Very protein like. Like the aftertaste is like the Chipotle. Protein. But it barely yeah. tastes like it. That's gross. I don't like it. I don't really like it either. Boo. Alright, so next we got the Nature's Garden Blueberry Yogurt Pretzels. I've had regular chocolate, I've had white chocolate, but I've never had blueberry. Blueberry chocolate. Blueberry. It smells blueberry y. <laughs> they're not purple, they're like kind of blue. What? Well, the packaging looks purple, but a blueberry is blue, it's not mm -hmm. purple. So. But the packaging is purple. Good. It's not a overpowering blueberry taste. It's just kind of like any other typical, yeah, like chocolate covered pretzel. I actually I guess. feel like the white chocolate overpowers the blueberry a little bit. Oh no, they're not bad. I had to get them again. They're pretty good. All right, so next up we have the Deer River Snacks Rosemary and Garlic Kettle flavored chips. I'm pretty sure these are going to be amazing, so. Probably you said Deer River instead of Deep River. Did I say Deer River? I might have said Deer River. Deep River. My bad. Deer Pardon river. me, sister. Did I make deer meat? Mmm. <laughs> these smell awesome. Everything is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to get all the songs stuck in your head. <laughs> but they do. They smell a lot like rosemary. Very herb-like. I have a strong rosemary flavor. These are good though. It's not bad. I like them. It's just it's a lot kind of to take on like all the rosemary. But I do. I like them a lot actually. Well, in this case, the rose is better than the garlic overpowering. I guess. I like these better than these, and these are both. Well, yeah, this one's rosemary too. This is rosemary herb, and this is also rosemary. So next we have the good bean chickpeas in the sea salt flavor. I'm not a huge chickpea person. So worst case scenario, these go to my mom because she already said that they are good. I don't smell anything, but. It's a chickpea. I know mean, you don't even like hummus. I don't. I don't like hummus. Hummus is gross. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Look at this. They're wee bit little things. It so doesn't taste like anything else. <laughs> yeah, it don't taste like my thing. It reminds me of um, edamame seeds. Well, I've never had edamame, so I don't know. But it's weird because they have like a coating and then it's like... Yeah, there's not a whole lot of flavor. Yeah. They're very plain. But, I don't know. Mom would probably eat them anyway. Even though All right, another deep river. But this one is the mango habanero. And sister says she's scared. The habanero, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> I ain't had habanero in so long. I don't even remember how how well I do with it. I don't even think I ever really had a habanero. I'm too scared to eat takis. So what? like this, yeah. Takis with habanero in it? Some of them do. 
They have like different ones, like different Takis. Oh god. Oh, I like, can taste the mango flavor. Like right away. It's not even spicy. I think the jalapeno ones the are spicier. The jalapeno ones are spicier, yeah. This one you can taste more the mango. Like the mango is a bit more like overpowering than the habanero. That's good. And they're not bad. Not bad at all. I like the mango flavor. Yeah. It's not like too overpowering, but it oh like the the mango flavor itself, well, but the mango overpowers like the spicy. I spiciness. feel like I can't even really taste like mango. All I can really taste is just like a. I don't know. I could taste it like I'll right like away. A chip, so. That's it. Um, but those are good. Next up, we have the Bergoni White Passion. Um, so they're white chocolates with a strawberry filling. Ooh, so right good. away when I opened the packaging, the strawberry scent came out. They're individually packaged like this. They look like that. Fancy. It looks, like, it looks like that. Mm. Mm. That is good. I'm trying to think what the heck. Reminds me of like a strawberry shortcake almost. Well, yeah. like, the, like the ice cream bars. That's kind of what that tastes like. It's a bit on the sweet side, but the strawberry flavor is awesome. It's like... I thought there was so gonna be like real like strawberry bits or something in no, it. No, it's like a strawberry like cream type yes. thing. Kind of disappointed. I like it. I think I give that a big thumbs up, you guys. That was awesome. Next up, we got the Asher's Chocolate Co. Milk Chocolate Potato Chip Clusters. So it's like a cluster of potato chips, like crushed up potatoes or something, and like covered in chocolate. All right. It is like this. It's like a little turd. It does. <laughs> it does smell like milk chocolate. Let's try this turd. You can taste the original. It tastes like a Lay's. What? <laughs> it tastes like a Lay's to me. But with chocolate, obviously. Duh. No, but here it is. It tastes like that. I can't taste any of the potato. When you have crappy taste buds. <laughs> you have crappy taste buds. No, I can taste the potato. I can taste the potato. I can't. It's like the chocolate overpowers the, the potato. I thought it would be salty and sweet. It's just sweet. It's sweet, but I can taste the saltiness. I can taste the potato chip. I actually like it. It's really good, you guys. So I don't know what you're not tasting. Your tongue must not like you. It's salty, I mean, it's sweet, it's potato-y. Yeah, but the, the chocolate isn't as good. It reminds me of a freaking, like, crunch bar. You know? Mm. No, not really. Not to me, anyways. I, I like those. I do. I like them. Yes, I do. So next, we're going to go on ahead and try these plantain chips, you guys. So there are three different flavors in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to try the lime one for you guys. Um, and no, plantains are not banana chips. I thought that they were a long time ago. They're not. They're completely different. Technically, like, banana chips are sweet and plantains are supposed to be more, like, on the salty side, I guess. I don't know. But we're going to try these ones. All right. It smells like nothing, you guys, so... So just as bad as I remember them. The they add? That they're bad, just as I remember them. I don't like plantains. They're kind of gross to me. They're kind. They're kind. They're good. I got the lime taste like at the very end. What? I got the lime taste is like. I got like the salt, the and I just had this lime flavor in my mouth, like the lime aftertaste. I guess your taste buds just don't work mm. well. Yeah, I don't like them. I like them. Well, you can keep them. Merry Christmas. All right, I'm getting close to the cutting time, you guys. So we're gonna try these. Hopefully we can fit them all in the video, guys. The Krispy Kreme, 
donut flavor jelly bellies. I actually saw these the other day at Fuego. Actually, yesterday we went to the mall, but yeah. But luckily, these were cheaper at TJ Maxx. So they're supposed to taste like these different kinds of donuts that they have at Krispy Kreme. So let's go ahead and give them a try. All right, so sister says it's cute looking. They're like in the little shape of jelly beans. So the first one is the apple pie. Cinnamon apple filled. Cinnamon apple filled. Tastes like apple and it tastes like cinnamon. Not like a lot of cinnamon, I get more of the apple flavor. It tastes like a donut, like the donut filling. And I was like, but with but extra chewy, but like without. Extra chewy. What is the pink one? It's just strawberry, strawberry ice. Strawberry icing. Ice? Icing what? Iced. Ice. Strawberry ice. I've never had a strawberry ice donut. Okay. Yeah. It's a very light strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. Original glaze. Original. OG. Oh, funky OG. I don't want really to taste like an original glazed donut. It doesn't taste like a. I don't know how you describe that one. That one's weird. Yeah. Mm. Glazed blueberry cake. So hopefully this tastes good. It's like blueberry. It has like little <laughs> blue flecks. <laughs> blue specks on it. Mm. Mm hmm. It does taste like blueberry. That one tastes like the blueberry donut. That does. Nice little oh. blueberry flavor. Chocolate the last one. iced with sprinkles. I just expected chocolate flavor. This you can kind of see like the sprinkles inside of it, which you probably won't be able to pick it up on camera, but. It's weird. Looking. I don't like that. <laughs> That's a funky. It kind of does taste like the chocolate, like icing that they put on them, but. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think I only really like the bl the blueberry one, and the apple one was okay. Other ones I did not care for. So these aren't that great, you guys. Just a heads up. Anywho, you guys, that's everything for this taste test. Hope you all enjoyed, and that you guys enjoyed seeing my sister again. We love you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye now.